Hey guys, Bright Lights here, and welcome to another deck profile. Today I have for you my Narukami Brawlers. Um, once again, trying a different recording method, just trying out a bunch of different ones, seeing which one I like the most. And uh, yeah, so I think personally Narukami, well, the Brawlers especially, got the biggest buff from the 16G unit update. Or well, one of, at least, because it's really good. Because now, four Conquest is a staple in all decks, and they have room for other strides. So let's get started. Start off running uh, the Smart Kid Dragoon. Uh, I got the Japanese promo version, that's pretty cool. So basically, this is your grade 3 search up. Really good because your grade 3s never get dead. You can call them as beaters, you get they use their own skill. And uh, therefore, the um, Strive Father as well. So that's pretty good. Next up, we're playing the 4. Brawler, Big Bang Knuckle, Buster. Use your ideal right target. And also we're playing the four Brawler, Big Bang Knuckle, Dragon. I always get the names mixed. Uh, this one, I have to play the fourth. Where's the fourth one? Mm, one sec. Can't find my fourth copy. Okay, yeah, so four of each. <laughs> so this guy cross rides onto him, so that's why you're running four of each. Also, he needs a big bang pro, uh, unit for his skill. So we'll go over this guy's skill first. First of all, he legions. Then the second ability is canvas one. And choose any of a big bang unit, which is any grade three. Move it to the soul, and then if you're in legion, you get plus 5k. And then when you attack, you can choose four units instead, and then um, you attack those four units in one battle. So Omega Landius can screw that over because they can just use the um, taboo or whatever its name is, which redirects all your attacks, which kind of sucks. Second ability, cross ride, good stuff. This guy, you're not really looking to ride him; he's just there for the cross ride. But just in case, his skill is yeah, he legions. Then a special but like canvas two brawlers attacks all the units in the front row. Cheap of a million if he's in Legion. Then you can Soul Blast one and you get plus three when he attacks. Um, it's okay. I am not the biggest fan of him. Um, I mostly just yeah, he's just there for crossfire purposes. Next up, we're playing four brawler big slash buster. Uh, reason why I like playing four because normally I damage one, ride one. Then I'm in Legion with the other one, and I want have one on the field. That's why I play four. It's mostly for consistency because he hits really nice numbers. Just good cut. Next up, we're playing three Skyhow. He's just a simple combust one retire unit in front row when it's placed on rear guard, and you have a brawler vanguard. Really good for your conquest plays. Cheap, efficient, and also you don't use too much combust in this deck, so it's really good. Next up, we're playing two big slash dragons. He's just, when your vanguard brawler hits, he has plus 2k. Not very good, but he's just there for legion, just in case you misride into the other one. Two chatterers. Uh, I have seen people play three and four. They like take out one of this guy and another grade one. So extra chatterer power. But in all honesty, this guy's skill never goes off. For me, at least. Because my friends hate it going off. So it's like, God, no matter what. And... Never goes off, it's just good pressure though, so, yeah. Next up we're playing 3 star enablers, um, because you want to keep sometimes grade 3s in hand for this guy's skill. Uh, you just play stride fodders or in case you don't have any for some reason. Three, playing 3 10k attackers, um... Just for early game, grade 2 game, if you sometimes still play it because you're an ass. That's just good beater. Next up, we're playing three of the oops. The good booster, so his ability is same as dragon, but this one's better because it's a grade 1. So, like this and this can make huge columns because whenever an attack hits these guys, the whole column gets plus 6, which is really good. I mean, hitting like 3 or 4 units a turn. And the whole column gets like plus 18 without any trigger boost, which is really good. Playing the one Rising Phoenix text. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is not very good today. Um, 
the one Rising Phoenix tech speak tech yeah, tech. Yeah, I can't speak. Because um uh your turbo does require soul and you don't want to use up too much and you don't want to lose your cross ride. So this is a good one off in case of the right situation. Next up we're playing four unflipped perfect guards. Um, like I said, Kalmbass isn't too bad in this deck, it's just, you might as well play it because you sometimes use a bit of Kalmbass, but nothing major. Next up for triggers, those are pretty easy. Four of these crits, they just win on Rear Guard Circle, you can return it to deck. And basically if you have a brawler, everything, you can get to give a brawler unit, basically. Slash Dragon skill, so plus three whenever it hits. It stacks it, so if you like give four of it to a slash, you'll get plus what, plus twelve whenever an attack hits, which is a bit ridiculous. So it's really good for the game. Playing four gins because easy soul. He's just your flame of victory card. I'm playing four draws. Um, yes, there's one eradicator one. I personally don't care because yeah, I'm a fuzzy casual and I, I barely use this guy. I guess screwed over by the one eradicator on one. So, playing four draws, four heals. I love this heal. It's always comes pretty clutch for me. I always double heal or six damage you off it. Really good. Uh, I might record a game of this if I ever get time. I have been extremely busy. Yeah, um, that's it for the main deck. On to the G zone. Okay, so first of all. Playing three Zoros. Uh, used to be yeah, you can only play like him as a one off, but if you in the G zone, I actually like going into this guy if my opponent doesn't call down a field and just good pressure and binding of perfect RGs. Playing one with you, um, so when you're in Legion, you can just select your mate heart. Easy, Easy enough. Uh, three Knuckle Turbo. Okay, so his ability is Calm Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, flip up a copy, no, flip up any G unit, which makes it even better why I'm only playing 3. Then, if you have a Brawler, Big Bang, Knuckle, Heart, you get to select 3 units for every heart, so if you have 1 heart, 3 units, if you have 2 hearts like this, 6 units. And 6 units means the entire field, so good stuff. Good stuff indeed. And then uh, you get plus 5k for every face up copy. Um, typically, I go like this guy, then this, flip up another Zoros. Then this, depending on game state, I flip up something else. And you get to use Knuckle Turbo three times reliably a game, at least twice. It's pretty good. Um, that's also why I'm only playing the One Rising Phoenix, because like, you have your starter, grade 1 and 2. If you use this guy three times, then you'll barely have enough soul, but if he's Rising Phoenix, you won't have enough to use this guy multiple times. But, uh, yeah. That's why I only play one Rising Phoenix, there's extra reasons. Four Conquest, like a staple in all Nadokami decks now. Too good. So basically he has a skill of GB2, technically now. Once per turn you can just turn up a copy face up and retire a front row. Then your entire front row, including your Vanguard, gets plus 5k for every open front row they have. So, let's say you have a few like this because you're bad. And stride this, and they only have the one rear. You flip up a copy and that retires, your entire front row gets plus 10k. Which is why, if they have like two rear guards, it's really good for the Sky Howl. Let's call it Counterblast 1. Retire this, flip up a conquest, retire the other unit, then easy plus 10k to your field. Which is why I really like the Sky Hell at 3. He's a must play. Uh, yep. yeah, so, 4 conquests, staple stuff, 1 blizzard because I feel that most decks should run blizzards. Because it just with 16 G units, why the heck not? Uh, yeah, onto G Guardians. I'm only playing four to stand them out because even though you cycle back heals with Legion, you need Legion early game and you typically won't be shuffling that many heals back. 
So it's just a simple two screws, two dismals. Uh, I'm not playing the Nadakami one because it's bad for this deck because you need Thunder Break or Thunder Strike, I think. Yeah, Thunder Strike and screws. You're running draw trigger. Yeah, you're running draw trigger, so you can easily discard for those. And the screws, you protect your, your slash, your slashes. So yeah. Uh, just a quick profile, just wanted to get one over and done with, I said to one of my friends, oh yeah, I'll do it, and then I got bored. So yeah, um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.